Good afternoon, party people of the internet. How y'all doing? So, today has been, look stream close up, a day. Yeah, my hair's different again. <laughs> we had issues after the first wash by blue, bled, and just like took all the colours out. So, you might have seen that if you look at my Instagram or my TikTok or whatever. I'm spotting some good scratches on my face. Normally they're from Wyatt, but uh, I ended up scratching my own face this morning. Today's Thursday, Thursday the 14th, I think. I've got Wyatt's sleep journal to fill in. That usually has the dates on it. We got a prescription for his melatonin, but um, we don't have it as of yet. We still don't have his melatonin yet because of the pharmacy being rubbish. Basically, his specialist paediatrician gave us the prescription. And when we went to put it in at our normal pharmacy, they were like, what? They haven't given an appropriate like dosage. And it was like, no, they've just given us melatonin at this dosage, but they've said to us that we can give him either one or two milligrams when we um, give him the fluid. Like, we'll start on one and see if he takes to that. Um, and if he needs more, we can up it to two. But apparently that's just too confusing for the pharmacist. Well, our pharmacist anyway. So, yeah, we're still waiting on that. We are currently tracking his sleep and then we can keep a better eye on things when he does have the mel melatonin and if you saw our last live show or if you saw on our twitter that katie's having to take a step back from book club but princess from castle libraries is taking over and the book that we're reading for the month of july is the jasmine throne she a thick one but just get this oh, floppy paperback i love a floppy paperback they're just so sexy but today has been full on I had my therapy call this morning. That was fun and emotional. And after therapy, Chris picked up Wyatt and then we had to go to his new school that will be starting in September. And uh, basically have like a introduction, meet the teachers that will be in like teaching his class. And just basically looking at all the new school and the areas and things because we've got him into a specialist SEN school which is like um SEN stands for so I will put it across the bottom because my brain has just gone Pff, there's just too much information. I've left Chris filling in forms because my body is just my body and my brain are just mashed right now. I uh, prepped my notes page last night while I was uh, finishing watching season three of the boys there's not a lot I can say about that show without throwing spoilers out there. I don't know whether I'm going to start reading now. I just watched some YouTube. I'm currently reading Miss Rule, the second book in the Malice trilogy. I reread Malice to read Miss Rule. Wow, my brain. Yeah, I got through that one quite quick and then I started reading Miss Rule and kind of didn't connect with it in the way that I connected when I started reading malice i don't know i don't know whether it was different pacing or there's a significant time jump i don't know i mean i'm gonna continue reading it obviously that's all of what has been happening in my day check back in later Out of wildflowers that bloom, burst, and sprout again in various shades and species. What is this? A record of the best gowns for each season. Chris has brought me dinner in bed because my back is absolutely killing me. I just wanted to, I've already eaten some, the presentation was on point, uh, but I just wanted to show you how good Chris is to me and the kids. He's just, look at that, it's beautiful. And so very tasty. And it was bloody delicious. Even if the chilli is really attacking my tongue and my lips right now. So yeah, um, my lips feel numb and tingly. Not really done much. I played some Fall Guys um, while listening to 
the audiobook. Right now I'm just stuffed and ready to go to sleep, to be fair. <laughs> that food was so delicious. Good morning. Well, morning. I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up, but Wyatt is really unhappy. He woke up at about half past five and has been having a meltdown since. I brought him downstairs, um, gave him some juice, you know, tried to check his uh, nappy and things. <sighs> Put Dougie on, try and calm him down, tried to play it in with sweets, and then he's just decided that he wants to go back upstairs. So he's probably in our room right now, but he's still screaming and he's nipping and biting us, like me and Chris. He's hitting himself in the head, he's headbutting the floor, he's kneeing the floor. But it sounds like Chris is bringing him back down now. So. Obviously, I won't be able to vlog much longer because he's kind of having a meltdown. We don't know what the issue is. He's not hungry, he's not thirsty, he doesn't need changing. He's not overheated in his bed, but with him constantly being riled up, he is kind of overheating right now. To have the melatonin that has actually been described that we can't have yet, that would be, you know, really nice right about now. I think Chris has put him back in our room and see if he actually calms down. I doubt it. I hope he does, but I doubt it. Nope. <laughs> so if we do manage to get him settled enough for him to chill out, I will be awake with Wyatt all night. So I guess I'll shut back in a little bit. Here's your Christmas present, Enid. So... He has currently chilled out. Oh, that is Chris has gone up to bed. Um, and it seems like Dougie on the TV doesn't work as much as Dougie that he can control constantly. So he's uh, controlling his own little Dougie universe and getting back tickles. Hi, I'm going Coco. Oh, yeah, I love you. Mm. Love you, buddy. Mm. So, Chris has sent me back up to bed because why it literally has been. I mean, that's my scratch when I scratch myself and this one here. But why it's been scratching all of me. Like, excuse the lovely beard hair. Um, but yeah, why it's been scratching the living. The hoog is out of me. I'm gonna put on some treatment cream. Why it's basically awake and he's annoyed that he's awake, but every time he starts drifting off, he lashes out. So now Chris is downstairs with him. I'm gonna treat my face, try and get some sleep. If not one, if not because you know it's like I think it's 4 a.m. now, about nearly 10 past four. Um, one of us should be sleeping. <laughs> Hello, happy Friday. Excuse the hair, it's a bit of a greasy mess. Right now, it is currently quarter to nine in the evening. I've pretty much just slept all day. It's nice and cool outside right now. You can see my all my scratches better in the light. I think I've even got a bruise coming up on my neck from him nipping me. Uh, the bruise where he bit me is coming up quite nice. So, fun, 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 fun. I don't think that, yeah, that bruise wasn't from last night slash this morning. Wyatt was basically awake all day and he passed out around 10 to 3 in the afternoon and he woke up around about 10 past 6. So right now it's kind of cool as I was trying to have a tangent. So it's a lot cool uh, right now and it's supposed to get ridiculously hot over the weekend and Monday and Tuesday. I won't want to be outside or in any kind of direct sunlight. So, thinking right now, enjoy some time outside while it's cool and actually start the jasmine throne. I have it with me. So, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. So, I'm in my comfort chair. I'm reclined. <laughs> Wyatt decided to come outside with a tablet. And then he decided he wanted cuddles, and then he decided he was cold. So, we brought out the bank there. So, yeah. This is me right now. 
So when people say like, you know, when people have cats and the cats lay on them and they can't move. Yeah, we have a Wyatt. He acts like a cat most of the time, don't you bud? I can't lick the iPad. So yeah. Bye. What are you doing? I'm vlogging. Mm. And we'll get me in. I know. Hi. It is Saturday. I know that because my mum's here. But I've got a migraine coming on, so... I've, uh... Ta yeah, I've taken some of my medication and hoping that it will go away. If you're not new here, or if you're new here, Saturdays are the days when my mum comes over. Uh, oh, yes, I am. Uh, oh, really? Saturdays are the days that my mum comes over, we sit, we chat, we watch TV. So that's what we're going to do. Just ordered lunch. No fancy, we're having a Greg's which is like a, a pastry sandwich place in the UK, just in case you didn't know that. Right now, it seems like I might have to change why it's booty. Yeah, last night I didn't start reading. I love this. I'm like, you know, weekly reading vlog. I haven't actually started the book that I'm intending to read this week. Oops. I'm almost finished with uh, Miss Rule though. So I'll probably end up finishing that today. <sighs> later on today should i say but yeah i'm gonna go change your booty now okay then so it's gone half past three my mum has gone home now i love my mum but she's a lot <laughs> to be fair i said that about every member of my family i love them at pieces and i love their company but after a while i'm like okay and i'm, I'm good now <laughs> let me know if anybody else's family's like that but yeah i'm back in bed now got some towels drying on the line so we can have a shower later the towels that we did have left over we had to put white in the shower because why it had a 38.7 degree temperature early on this afternoon we gave him some paracetamol and after like half an hour his temperature had come down but it still wasn't as far down as we'd like so put him in the shower in the cool water that brought his temperature down but uh, it's slowly creeping back up again. So not only are we in a heat wave, we're gonna deal with a child that has a fever as well. So yay, it's just gonna make it so much worse. And he's been really lethargic and he gets quite cuddly when he's um, not well. So it's like he wants to cuddle into you and obviously with the heat and him having a temperature, it just makes everybody warm. So any towels that we have left out at the moment, they are for Wyatt, for Wyatt's shower, um, if he needs to go in again. Sorry, <laughs> we do have plenty of towels, but when you have a teenage child and a child that's uh, discovering that they can shove their hands in the nappy and smear poo around, we're going through them at a crazy rate at the minute. <laughs> So it's like as soon as we get some clean and dry, it's like they're just <laughs> gone. I digress. I don't know whether to start Jasmine Throne now or finish Miss Rule and then start Jasmine Throne. Either way, some reading is going to be done and I will check back in with you guys later. Hey guys, today's Sunday. It is currently Sunday afternoon, around about 20 past two. The curtains are still shut because I'm having a ocular migraine, which is, uh, there's not so much pain, but there's kind of like pressure behind my eyes and uh, I see uh, wibbly wobbly lines everywhere. It's kind of like, yeah, uh, it's kind of like my eyes have turned in a kaleidoscope vision. It's really, really weird. That's what's happening with me right now. I have been reading. I, f I started and finished an audiobook called Wildling Hall. Katie recommended it to me. It's told from multiple perspectives and it's about a, a band and a mystery. I really enjoyed it. Uh, if you have Audible, it's in the Audible included thing. Uh, I don't know if that works in different countries or not. 
I've got the Jasmine Throne on audiobook now because I can't read because of my vision. So I have purchased the audiobook of it so I can listen to that while I'm <laughs> while I have my eyes closed and pray I don't fall asleep. I don't know if I updated you that I did finish Miss Rule. I'm gonna go now and listen to Jasmine Throne. Okay, bye. So right now I'm gonna be doing some reading sprints with Princess and Paco and everybody in the comments. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They've kind of gone off right now. <laughs> As you can see from the time, it is currently three minutes past nine in the evening for me. Uh, not really read that much. Read a couple of chapters, not so much. But yeah, gotta read. Gotta keep on keeping on. Good afternoon. What day is it? Monday. Have to check on the pills. Whether to see what day it is. Anyway, as you can see, curtains are still closed. I've got my lamp on so you can actually see what I'm about to do because I've uh, got a migraine again but I have just received a delivery uh, granted it's a makeup delivery not a book delivery but I'm excited for what I've got so I thought I'll show you I'm using a app tool <laughs> to actually open the tape oh, hang on there's more tape down here and it has my address on it so I cut the tape here and then I see that it's got a tabby tabby and Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hang on. So as you may see, it says TikTok shop. Oh yeah, I bought something from TikTok. But how could I not? Because it's the uh, P. Louise makeup palette. So it's P. Louise Watch the Queen Conquer palette. Um, I'm really excited to open this. This is not the makeup that I thought was coming right now. I've actually ordered some stuff from uh, Colourpop. I have to say, packaging is on point. I don't wanna, don't wanna upset the box. <laughs> I don't wanna break it, it's pretty. Okay. Uh. Yes. Look at those colours. Sorry, that's the cover for the mirror. But, uh, but it also, where is it? Opens here. So it's not just those colours. It's these colours too. So very pretty. I've got a swatch. I can't just show you it and not swatch. Oh, they are creamy. I don't know if you can see that. I've actually got my flash on, so. That does look beautiful. Okay, let's go for this. Damn. Let's go for this creamy one. Jeez. That's insane. I've just wiped my fingers on my arm. Still have the quite a bit of a lot on my fingers. Damn. This one. one. So try another shimmer, 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 shimmer. Oh, this one. Oh my god. And they are ridiculously buttery soft. Hmm. So yeah, as with reds and pinks and deep pinks and things could expect some staining but you know that's what uh eyeshadow base is for okay i'm gonna have to go in the colette gambit because he's my favorite x-men uh, yes. 
I like. Uh, let's go. I'm going to use this finger because this yellow. Jeez Louise. Literally. So, there's that gambit and the piece of me colour. Piece of me kind of went on, well, swatched kind of chalky. Because the shadows are so kind of buttery, even though it looks chalky, I'm sure it could be worked with. <laughs> anyway, I could sit here and literally swatch all the colours all day. Oh my god. All day long. <laughs> Let's have a look at this brown. Oh, this is the deep, 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 deep chocolate. Oh, just, ugh. So very nice. Look at the amount of glitter that's come off from the other one. It's gone all the way down. But that is just, they are really, really, really pretty. I'm excited to make looks with these. So now I have to go wash all the stuff off my arm. Oh, see, this is where I don't have the flash and in low lighting. And this is how bright they all still are. So, yeah. Uh, and that's what the stains still like on my fingers. So I'm gonna need to go wash my arm and my hands right now. If you're wanting to have a look at the palette, like I said, I got it from the TikTok shop. So if you follow P. Louise on TikTok, you can go to their, their shop. So P. Louise. I'm not paid for this. <laughs> God damn, I wish I were. I bought it. I was ex I'm excited about it. I'm vlogging, so I thought I might as well show you. And uh, and if you want to go get it for yourselves, that's where I'll go get it. Back to reading. I've got about 10% of Owned by Fate left, which is a smutty audiobook that I started reading yesterday because I'm behind on my challenge of reading so many books. I can't even remember what number I put, but I know I'm behind. <laughs> and smut and romance books just are such a quick read for me especially with it being on audio yeah they just tend to fly by so probably gonna finish that see what we've got for lunch and then start in on the jasmine throne again also thank you to you guys that subscribed in the chat <laughs> Oh my god, I fail at life. I don't know what to say. So thank you for the people that subscribed to me during the, the sprints. It was totally unexpected. And I'm, I'm guessing you're going to unsubscribe. <laughs> That's a wire. I'm guessing you're going to unsubscribe <laughs> once you see the actual video quality of my vlogs and all that jazz. But yeah. Oh. Oh, she crunchy. No, I'm at that stage where you can still feel the migraine, but it's gone down from a migraine to a really annoying headache. Probably hasn't helped that I've tied my hair up, but <laughs> it's feckin' warm. Just to reiterate, I did use a baby wipe to wipe off the Pierre Louise makeup and stuff. I did have to scrub quite hard with a with baby wipe. Granted, it's not a makeup wipe, but uh, I'm guessing the thing would have been the same if I had to use soap and water. So I would say if you are going to get the palette, definitely use an eyeshadow base so it doesn't stain your eyeballs. Okay, bye. Update. Oh, just Chris has just gone and picked up for my medication. So this is uh, half of my medications. But the best part about it is that we finally got Wyatt's melatonin. So, yay! We get to give him melatonin and hopefully that will fix his sleep schedule. Because he's been up since 2am, or two, half 2 this morning, and he finally crashed, I'd say about 5 o'clock. So he's asleep right now. His sleep has been absolutely crazy. Uh, his temperature's come down, he's completely normal, he no longer has a fever, so thank god that was short-lived. We've ordered takeout, so that's on its way. It's just way too warm to be cooking. I've started a, started a rewatch of Veronica Mars, 
so I'm kind of like I'm halfway through season one right now. I did finish the smutty book. I think it was owned by Fate. I don't know what this finger's doing. Grr. Arg. It's a smutty book. It was a three out of five stars. The story was there just to facilitate the sexy times, which, you know, <laughs> here for it. You don't look at it with a really critical eye. You just kind of go, mm, yeah, it is what it is. All right, I'm gonna lay down, hire up some Veronica Mars and just wait for my food to arrive. <laughs> so I've just got out of the shower. Chris was, uh huh, with Wyatt. Wyatt was in the shower with me. I was basically in the shower end, and we put the plug in, so he kind of had a bath, and he was not happy that we took him out of the bath. <laughs> but he is a total water baby like his mum. So, what can you do? Chris has given me an ice lolly because it's ridiculously warm, and I do have to say props to Chris because he went up and changed the bedding. At like, ouch! He just nipped me, so be careful. So, props to Chris, he went and changed the bedding while we were in the shower because it's the only time that he's like, you know, had a moment's peace from Wyatt. God, it's warm today. It's the hottest day of the year in the UK. So I'm gonna dry off and eat my ice lolly. Wyatt is chilling with his hey doggy and a napper. Oh, really? Don't nip yourself, silly. Hmm, fair. Wyatt, do you want to say hi? <laughs> say hi? <laughs> well, that'll be a straight now. Real talk. Messy hair, sweaty. I really don't care. <sighs> so, my mental health basically is in the toilet this afternoon. If you can hear Wyatt screaming, it's just power for the course at this point. Um, okay, I'm just gonna <laughs> lay it all out there. Um, if you guys don't know already, Wyatt has autism. He's been finally diagnosed with autism. He's five years old. We've been fighting and fighting to get a diagnosis. And then when we finally start getting somewhere, COVID happened. <laughs> oh, so everything is shut down. Um... But it's been a really long process and we've finally got his diagnosis. We're getting him into a specialist school. Sorry, hearing him screaming. It's just, this is our daily life. Wyatt is non-verbal. He has no language. Um, so most of the time we have no idea what he wants. Uh, I have a saying of throw whatever at him and see what sticks food, cuddles, tickles, iPad, sweets, chicken nuggets. Basically, I just feel like a really shitty mum and a bad parent and a bad partner because I'm disabled. I have epidural fibrosis. Dealing with an autistic five-year-old who doesn't speak is hard. And then add on to the top of that, a teenager that does teenager things. <laughs> and the fights that we get into over the stupidest little things. And it all just <sighs> come to a head today because Chris is having to deal with this totally on the day to day basis. Because <sighs> you may have seen in vlogs previous, I spend most of my time in the bedroom. Most of that is because... I'm in pain, constantly, and laying down is the easiest position for me to be in without being in too much pain. I'm sitting here, right now, talking to you, I'm in fucking pain. So Chris is my full-time carer, he's Wyatt's full-time carer, and then there's a, there's a Bram. Bram is asked to do more than regular 15 year olds because Chris and I need help with Wyatt and it's not fair on him <sighs> and just the amount of guilt that I feel that I can't do anything I mean Chris cooks he cleans <sighs> in January this year Chris had put 
why it's bed. Bram had just gone to bed and Chris was just having some him, him time, some me time downstairs. Um, our bathroom is downstairs so I have uh, a commode in the bedroom because there's times when my legs don't work and I can't make it down, down a flight of stairs to use the bathroom. Nerve damage. <laughs> but there was this time where I needed to pee. I didn't have the commode bucket up here. It had been taken downstairs, emptied and was being washed and it was just in the bathroom drying out. My legs were okay enough. I didn't want to disturb Chris, so I go to go downstairs and use the toilet. Now, with the nerve damage, I get drop foot in my right leg, in my right foot, which is where it's like, it just dies. So I end up falling downstairs and I'm slipping. My right leg goes in front of me. My left leg goes under me. I go downstairs. I dislocate my ankle and break my leg in three places and that's why I'm going to all the hospital visits because oh, the metal work is trying to work its way out of my skin and it's painful and it's just ow but that's a whole different story so that's just a uh, added layer and that happened because I didn't want to disturb Chris's me time because that boy deserves it <sighs> there, there I go make everything 20 million times worse oh sorry this is really just a woe is me thing <sighs> when i was talking it through with chris earlier i definitely seemed more eloquent about my feelings but right now i'm trying to look back on what i said i'm just like yeah i don't know i'm guessing it's just i'm guessing it's kind of hard for me to open up to a camera i don't know if you guys have dealt with like depression or intrusive thoughts or anything like that but it feels like they all just kind of live here and just constantly throw in that you know you're a crappy mum you can't tell what your child needs your child's surviving on a diet of ice lollies and chicken nuggets most of the time it feels like your teenager hates you and completely disrespects you and your partner is doing everything and it's getting nothing back and i am terrified of something happening to chris or chris just going to go go into the shop and just going i can't cope with this crap anymore because it's a lot to fucking deal with and i'm i'm jealous of my friends that have children around white's age younger older and i see their development there i can hold conversations with them and it hurts that I can't do that with my own child. He's five and he's nervous head about my dad. And yeah, he is getting better with eye contact. And they have got him into a specialist school and we're hoping, we're constantly hopeful that with speech and language and this specialist school that, <laughs> that he can one day speak to us. But then there's the flip side of that, where because he can't communicate what he wants, he nips and bites and scratches, and I can't defend myself fast enough. So I tend to stay out of the situation, which causes me more guilt than I'm not freaking around. You tell me a normal parent that's scared of the five-year-old child. I mean, the little guy gave me a black eye for Christmas. Don't get me wrong, I love my son. I love him with all my heart. But there's some days that I'm terrified of him. And that's not normal. Parents shouldn't feel that way. Chris and I have had this conversation several times. I'm already on antidepressants. I'm in therapy. <laughs> so hard to be trapped in your own body and then feel trapped by your own child. This is one of the reasons why I stopped doing booktube. One, because booktube, booktube became toxic as fuck. And two, because I just couldn't, I couldn't keep putting on the brave face. I mean, we all know that social media is not real. We know it, but we're still bombarded with all these images and things. And even when 
you are a content creator and you are as real as they come you still want to put the best of things forward i mean my channel was called fandom and books before i got pregnant and then obviously i had a family so i was gonna make it more family oriented with some books thrown in and then dealing with why it's autism and my health declining even more i couldn't keep up with the schedule i couldn't keep up with anything i mean even now i can't make a schedule i can't say yes you'll get a video one video a week i mean luckily since starting book club you're getting a, a video at least a video a month i'm trying to do some streaming because i love games i mean games are a, also a massive part of me functioning as well as slipping into fantastical worlds through books but sitting and trying to stream a game or streaming <laughs> longer than three hours it's just a big fat no no for me oh i wasn't gonna put this in the vlog but i spoke to princess and jen if you don't know who they are the channels will be linked below put a message in princess's discord just being like i've got a crappy mental health day today and they rallied around me and it was so lovely and um I said, do you think I should put this in the vlog, you know, what's going on in my brain box? And they said, yeah, go for it. For all of that crying, weeping stuff, you've got them to thank for it. <sighs> I don't know what I'm saying, I'm just talking at the camera right now. Um, but yeah, so I've cried a lot today, but I showered today. I hung out in the bath with my son. I got to play in the water and splash and cuddle and tickle. <sighs> and those moments are few and far between. <sighs> Chris brought me snacks. I was pretty much wrapping up anyway because I'm in pain and I want to lay down. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to read tonight or if I am going to watch Veronica Mars or the last two episodes of Miss Marvel that I still haven't watched yet. I'll just play on the Switch. I have no idea. If you made it this far, thank you for listening to me waffle on about how shitty my life is basically. Hopefully when I see you next, I'll be in a little bit better of a mental health state. Probably not, but you know, masking. Ugh. It's now about half past one. Uh, Thursday morning, not 10 to 2. Didn't update you at all yesterday because I was just in bed. I did some reading, not much. <laughs> kind of negligible. Ne negligible. But we have just had a very eventful 1 a.m. Basically, Wyatt has been fighting going to sleep since his bedtime and he's just been getting violent and nippy and frustrated and obviously that has a knock-on effect with Chris and us because you know we don't like getting beat up shocker so we put Wyatt, well Chris put Wyatt in his room I was in bed again shocker but I was on princess's discord and we were doing some reading sprints I weren't actually reading but you know I was there for for the chats he was in his room he had my ipad he was being relatively chilled so we're like right well we'll leave him in there in the hopes that he passes out i periodically check on him on on the monitor that we have in his room it's being relatively quiet so i check in on him see what's see what what's going on he's uh pooped and decided to smear poop all over his legs and the ipad and um his surrounding areas so chris got out of bed he chris was had managed to fall asleep i was still awake but chris got out of bed took white to the shower while i cleaned wyatt's room and while i pick up picking up all the poop nuggets and wiping surfaces i noticed that he's uh <laughs> bit in the iPad and uh, he's ended up cracking the screen all over the place on the iPad. He's in his room right now with the lights off and we are 
praying. We're not really religious, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll pray to any freaking deity at this point that they'll go to sleep. Bearing in mind, he's been up since like half five this morning. I'm and praying. so are Chris has. I am praying to the god of rehab. <laughs> Who is the who is the Greek god of sleep? I can't remember. Morpheus. Is it Morpheus? I thought that was Roman. Pause break while Chris Googles. Who is it? Yes. Hypnos. I knew I knew Morpheus wasn't wasn't the Greek one. Did you say that Morpheus was the god of dreams? It would seem so, yes. I'm praying to Hypnos. <laughs> but now he's looking up the Roman. Somnus. Dreams sleepwalking mm. Either way, we're praying to all of those gods that he crashes. So hopefully. Oh, we can all get some sleep <sighs> and I'll have something to update you on in the morning morning <laughs> all we've seen is mama's chunky chunky fat <laughs> arm <laughs> and my hairy armpit <laughs> and my nip nip ouch Good morning! Obviously the clip last night, I can't even, well, this morning. I don't know why I'm doing that, because it, it was this morning. Oh, last night slash this morning was fun. Still kind of vexed that he's destroyed my iPad. I had therapy this morning, which was intense. Obviously, I spoke about what happened Tuesday. I didn't actually mention him not sleeping last night, but uh, I think Tuesday was my personal low moment. So I thought I'd uh, pop in and update you. Um, oh, my back hurts quite, quite a lot. Wyatt finally passed out about five past two this morning, so holla feckin' Luya. I have a feeling that I'm gonna try and read, switch to reading, switch to listening to the audiobook of The Jasmine Throne and then fall asleep. That's my prediction. And watch me be 100% correct. So, I did fall asleep, but someone came and said hi. Mm. Boom. Can you say hi? Is that Wyatt? Is that Wyatt? Is it? Is that Wyatt? Uh, yeah. Can Mama have a kiss? Kiss. Hi hey guys. It is a lot later in the evening. I'm 21 chapters in. It feels like it's finally picking up. I'm finally getting into it. It's taken a while for it to actually grab me, but we're finally getting there we're finally at that stage where i'm preparing to end the vlog because you know thursday to thursday is usually how i do but i did want to throw this in there i'm quite pissed off at the shoddy craftsmanship this book uh, i've put it in my bag uh, a tote bag a couple of times to carry stuff around the house i've not even left the house like the bag's not been beaten up like majorly you know i've not like picked it up picked it up and put it down a thousand times with the book in but uh look at this so we have the back cover and then the actual thing that's coming off and it's not just up here it's happening here it's happening at the bottom not so much on the front cover but still, that is pretty shocking. Not a fan. I'd like to know if anyone else's paperback is doing this or if it's just mine and I got the luck of the draw having a shitty one. But yeah, feel free to let me know. So for anyone that does actually sit and go through and watch the whole video, thank you for watching and for putting up with this hot mess express. I'm gonna go. Do a bit more reading and then probably do some editing so if you've read the jasmine throne and want to pop in and see me and princess chat about how we feel about it join us at this time on my channel so we can all have a good chinwag about it together thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one bye